Capricorn Rising's February 2024 shows that there's some pretty significant financial changes and new beginnings starting for you, along with getting more serious about how you are managing and following through on your day-to-day -day routine. If you're excited to get into what exactly we have in store for this February for your sign, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. If you're new here, hi, I'm Marin. I am a Western astrologer using the Tropical Zodiac, and I also make music, so you can check that out down below, as well as my private readings if you want a one-on-one -on -one with me. So starting out on the 5th, Mercury will conjoin Pluto in your second house of money and finances. So Mercury and Pluto together shows very intense, obsessive, pinpointed information or focus that we are really, really obsessed with getting to the bottom of or getting through with. And in the second house of money, this shows not necessarily investment or complicated related income, but like just money that you're making, you're spending day to day. You are like maybe forming out a plan or obsessed about budgeting or starting something early this month. Then on the 7th to the 8th, Venus will try and Uranus between your first and fifth houses. Venus in the first house for the first week or so of this month is amazing for you attracting and receiving in more of what you want. You appear more beautiful and harmonious. The trying to Uranus in your fifth house shows that randomly you are getting a romantic interest or a creative opportunity because of you and your personality or putting out a very kind, charismatic front to the world. Then on the ninth, there is a new moon in your Aquarius second house. This shows a very sudden, but pretty substantial and serious new beginning around making or spending money in a new way. Probably going to be around making money because rarely do we commit to spending in a certain way, but you are starting something that looks and feels impulsive, but makes sense towards an income strategy. Then from the 13th to the 17th, Venus and Mars will conjoin Pluto in your second house. This shows that the focus for your relationships, activities, uh, actions, your diligence is going towards money this month, making money, following through on budgeting and being very, very diligent with a uh, financial focus. Then on the 19th, the sun will enter your Pisces third house. This shows that the second half of the month does have a focus on day-to-day -day content writing or output for productivity. Then on the 20th to the 23rd, Venus and Mars continue to be conjunct in your second house of money and they will square Jupiter from the 24th to the 28th, which shows that all the focus on money and income is massively expanding opportunities for you either romantically and or creatively. So there is a tie there. Then on the 24th, there is a full moon in your Virgo ninth house. This is a full moon about cutting out the bullshit and getting serious. And the ninth house is about two main things, long distance travel, or higher education and study. So you're probably either letting go of something involving travel or another country or culture that feels like it's not in line with you or your serious goals, or you are leaving some form of study or leaving a focus on being in school for something because it feels like it's not you know serious or mature enough for what you're valuing right now. Then on the 27th to the 29th, there will be a Sun-Mercury-Kazemi conjunction in your third house, and this will cross Saturn on the 29th. Sun and Mercury together shows information coming to light, and Saturn adds that that information is very serious, dire, cold, or just unemotional. The third house is about content writing or the way that we're structuring our day-to-day -day routine for being productive, which shows that you may be getting information back or having some kind of realization about cold, hard truth on what needs to change or what the reality is around that area of your life. Let me know how this February is sounding to you. Leave me a comment and tell me what you feel like this is going to resonate as in your life. The tarot card that we have here for Capricorn Risings this February is the Magician Reversed. So when the Magician is upright, it's about like being magical and putting on a show and like, yay, everyone clap. Magician Reversed is like, do not show your cards right now. Work, incubate, do the thing privately and it's not time to like let it cook basically. <laughs> If you enjoy this, do make sure to give me a like and subscribe. I see that about half of you are subscribed. It would be cool to get that to like 51, 52, you know, a little bit higher. That would be cool. Anyway, hope that your February goes really well, and I will see you next month. Oh, there is one.